Hello everybody and welcome to Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp and we're going to be playing the second campaign because if you want to see the first one done in hard mode, Mangs is already on that and he's probably better qualified to do that campaign than I am. I'm going to have to turn down the volume of this TV so then it doesn't echo through the microphone. So, uh, essentially, hard mode of Advance Wars 2 is pretty cool. Uh, it basically just expands the missions and or adds a bunch of different missions. As you can see, I've already completed a bit of it um, because I wanted to get the Hawk image. If you want the image of Hawk, this is the mission you do, see for all. Uh, that will unlock the final image for the gallery. However, we're going to go and we're going to do these three missions into see for all um, within the first week. So, yeah. Shoutouts to the super patreon of Smazabaza and the two Patreons of Bellywash and Kyo Kyle. Kyo Kyle does a stream, he does Twitch uh, at Kyo Kyle, which is Kyo underscore Kyle. And he also does YouTube where he just uploads his speedrun highlights or just, hi uh, or just you know, his speedruns in general. So have a look. So mission one, border skirmish. So there is no Andy versus Flak mission. The first one is with Sammy. So let's get into it. Lord Flak, Lord sir. Oh, and uh, I'm not gonna. You already know the story, and if you don't, you don't need to worry about it. <clears throat> so basically, we're starting the campaign. Flack is sent to conquer Orange Star. Um, what else is there to say? I will voice, I will not voice, but I will maybe do this thing where it's like in the mission stuff. Um, because that's where I want to focus on. Commander, it's tough to see through this fog, but enemy troops have been spotted on the far side of the river. Are you sure? Here? In this rural area? What are your orders, ma'am? Listen up! We need to cease ops and attack. We can't allow the enemy a foothold this deep in Orange Star territory. <laughs> Good assessment, Sammy. That's just the tactical sense I expect from my Special Forces Commander. I wish I could do voices for female nice. characters. Nice! <laughs> Fucking nice! Okay, Sammy, you're a weird one. Now you're here, I was wondering if you'd make it to Macro Land. It's mm -hmm. such a hard trip, it's just like, you know, one airplane ride. Of course I made it, I'm tracking down the CEOs invading Orange Star. Man, it would be so cool if there was like... Something else happening, I don't know. Uh, Sammy, can I trust you to take care of the situation? Sure. Yes, because I'm a trained CEO who beat Sturm in the previous game. I think I can beat an idiot. Of course, Sammy, he is an idiot. So, yeah. I know you got this under control, Sammy. Let's show Black Hole that he can't hide from us. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, originally in the easy mode campaign or regular mode campaign, uh, I would say regular, I would say medium difficulty, but like classic. In classic, uh, they put a unit here to basically show you. Uh, what's going on. In this version, there is no unit there. There's no units on your side of the map. There's only units here. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think they removed um, one of the units. I think they removed the anti-air. Um, but yeah, essentially, uh, the way you do this mission is very simple. Um, you try to set up your forces uh, you kind of have a few turns, kinda, to be able to do some stuff, and then you also have two airplanes that you can use to weaken troops, essentially. You have a tank and a medium tank. The medium tank and APC are pretty much uh, there to be capture fuel. Lord, Lord Flack, our infantry has reported finding Orange Star properties. Mm. Enemy cities, huh? Well, ain't that exciting. But at least capturing properties builds up our resources. Listen up, you goons. All right, listen up, you goons. If it ain't nailed down, you can steal it. Got that? And any of you luckhead troops with full HP should be able to cast secure property in two days. So get to it. We gotta bankroll this war if we're gonna come out on top. It's weird how Flack is actually kind of smart in that situation. He's a hundred percent correct, which feels really weird. <laughs> Because he's more of the idiot character. Um, he's not really known for being uh, a super smart guy. So to hear him literally be like, Okay, so we really need money. Uh, so like, if we don't have money, we might not be able to even win this war. Like, that's so weird. 
Anyway, so we can see a bit more of the troops. So there's probably troops hiding out in this forest too. Uh, I'm gonna, even though there's an anti-air there, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna kind of sacrifice this battlecopter, only one of them, um, to essentially be able to uh, capture this city. Because if I can capture this city, it's really good for us. Um, because it means that we can fall back with this medium tank. I think he only has, he may have two medium tanks, but I think he only has one. Uh, and then this other, this other one we will, yeah. Just so it's close. Because if you can capture that city, it just means your medium tank is like super fucking good for the rest of the game. Okay, so as you can see, we now know where a lot of these troops are. Okay. So, as we can now see, there's a lot of troops everywhere. Um, and the troops that are the most scary are obviously the mech units, because with, uh, with his indirect damage uh, being so high, uh, no, with his uh, damage being able to fluctuate so high, his mechs can actually do crazy trades. Um, that we really do not want him to do. So we'll now do this. Um, we'll put this mech here, pull back this tank, and then we'll kill this. Boom. do this. It doesn't do much, but we'll do it. Um, and then from this position, I think just putting this here. And then we can see, yeah, he has a frick ton of tanks. Uh, and we can actually kind of have a little bit of fun. We can actually just shoot on this. So this mech ordinarily doesn't do much, but if we're putting out, uh, if we're putting troops over here, that means he has to deal with them. Uh, and I will put this up here, so then maybe he'll see that and then back off a bit and we can put this here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we might be in a bit of trouble. Um, but I'm hoping that our APC and our tank and infantry can take the brunt of the damage that we might face. Yeah, there goes that. But we can now kill that. Oh my god, Jesus, that was another move. Okay. However, we're fine. Um, how do we want to do this? Yeah, probably something like that. So, we'll kill... This medium tank is very high priority, as you can probably tell. Um... So is this, honestly. Because uh, if we can kill this anti-air, I don't think they have another anti-air. Um, which basically just means that we can kind of just fuck around a bit. And when I mean fuck around, I don't mean just like, oh, we don't even need to try anymore. I simply mean we can do things that would not be the smartest normally. Okay. We'll do that. Put this mech here. Um... Put that there, put this mech here, do this, and then we'll end turn. Okay, so here's Max, here's Sia, power to the Max. Why fade when you can fight? Thank you, Flack, for voicing the entire line. That's the one thing I don't like about this game, is um half the time you don't they don't say the entire line. I like how the barbaric blow is uh, written in carbon fiber. That's really sick. So they can definitely see that. They did like, okay damage there. Ooh, that's really good for us. Ah, so there's even actually one more. Okay, so that's actually fine. That's actually like, kind of okay and good for us even. Um. So yet again, have we just been ignoring an airplane on the right side of the map? No, they killed it with the second anti-air. 
I can't believe I did not notice that at all. I'm not very smart, it looks like. We'll move one back. Um, I want this infantry, this, uh, this mech unit to stay alive. I want them to kind of go into the shadows so then we can get a cool HQ cap. Um, yeah, so at this point, it's just fire on stuff as we try to heal. We could also pull this one up here to do the same thing. Yeah, it's going to be annoying though to do that. But that's how I did it the first time, kind of. Um, we want to actually pay a bit of attention to see if an artillery goes into the forest and we didn't see one. Okay. So they do actually rely on sight to do anything. So if we do actually destroy their recon, uh, they don't actually have the ability to see us, which is something actually kind of funny. Okay, so there's just tanks. So we're gonna start our stealth uh, mission essentially now. This is what I hate about the AI. The AI still knows where you are. Um, like they kind of tried to replicate um, the way that the AI worked in the previous games, uh, where the AI knew where you were, but it just comes off as really shitty. Um, because all it does is it means that every single time, uh, all it does is like every single time you would be fine. Uh, and like literally no one in the world would be able to know where your unit is. They just magically, oh no, my anti air fell into your infantry unit, how crazy. And it's just like, uh-huh, really, crazy, hmm. Um, because of this, we can put this back here and we can actually now deduce that doing this is fine. Playing, playing tough, huh? I'll show you tough. Okay, we now can see... Exactly where they are. I almost killed him with that strike, jeez. Okay. Do this. Okay, so now their tank lineup has been destroyed. So now I can just do this and we kind of find we'll do this. And for now, there's no way we can do that. Okay, we're fine in there for now, too. Ah, the APC had a little bit more health, huh? Okay, well that's useful. That means we can kill this. The artillery is hidden somewhere, which means it's like most likely here. Um, and they have a rockets left. We can actually kill uh, that very easily. And we're going to put that there. And then we're gonna put this here. And then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill this. But we're gonna do it in a very good way so we don't take too much damage. Boom. And then boom. That way, uh, these two units with a victory march can kill that ro uh, rocket unit in the next turn. So that uh, recon is probably gonna get killed. Well, that's not very nice. Let's get them, troops. Oh, he still needs vision. That is hilarious. Um, 
So we can kill all of his units. Uh, so I think we shall. I'm unbeatable. In a test of skill, I'm unbeatable. Victory, Victory march. march. This mission is a very simple mission. Like, this is not a mission that you play and you're just like, oh man, how hard. Like, it is, there is a lot of like, oh my god, what? Kind of stuff. Oh my god. 123% damage. Kill him. Oh man, the black hole HQ in the background looks sick. Kill him. These guys only have their rock they don't even have ammo, that's hilarious. That should be the end of the mission, right? Yep. We didn't even need a capture, but we could have with our one HP infantry. Gah, not bad, ladies. You're the black hole CEO. Why why you look nothing like a more uh, nothing more like a common thug. I like to know what's really in charge of. Yeah. 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 Will you shut your trap? That's not. Hey, wait! Hey, wait a second! Oh. He's gone. And even worse, he was rude. Uh. Ooh, that guy. He really gets under my skin, and I barely just met him. Channel that energy, Sammy. Go Super Saiyan. We're lucky to have you on our side. And that's the mission. Chalk another one up for Sammy. And I think that's an even better score than I got last time. Technique is the only thing you really get screwed on. But yeah, uh, I hope you really enjoyed this one. This is the first mission, obviously. Uh, nothing too special, but there's going to be four episodes of this a week. Um, and also, secondarily, uh, on my Patreon, I'll be like uploading... Uh, like You'll be able to get these early, essentially, if you're a $3... Patreon or $10 Patreon, obviously. Uh, but yeah, so the next mission will be Orange Dawn, and I'll see you then with like the 50 minute episode. <laughs>